Hey guys, it's Allison from Do City's Head House. I'm here today to share with you a tutorial on how to macrame a aluminum folding chair. This is something that you can find at any garage sale, um, eBay, Craigslist, thrift store, and usually they're in pretty rough shape. Adding macrame cording to them is fairly easy and it's really cool. So what I've done so far is I've started this whole piece. I'm halfway through the vertical cording. You can find all those instructions over on my blog, DoCitiesHimeHouse.com. Right now I'm going to show you the live, in-person way of how to do it because I know that always helps me when I'm learning something new on the internet. So here it goes. As you can see, I'm halfway through the cording of the vertical piece here. Um, what you do is you always need to go over this front brace. You pull it up behind the support brace, up through the back, you go over the back bar, that's really important. You have to remember that you're always going over the bars. So you kind of loop it through, you grab the loop with your crochet hook and you make what's called a chain loop. It's a crochet term. At least that's what I call it, I mean a chain stitch. Sorry guys. And you just keep your cord taut, pull it down through the back, I've got this ball of cord here under the chair, which makes it really easy to work. Um, so you're gonna pull it up over the front again, make a loop, make sure you've got it pulled tight, and loop it through. It's super easy. You just go over the front, up the back, around the back here, grab the loop with your hook and pull it through. Make a chain stitch. When you're working this, you always wanna make sure that your cord is coming down on the right hand side of your last stitch. Make sure not to overlap your cord, otherwise you'll get into trouble. Nobody likes that. I'm gonna do one last row here, just to show you one other little thing to keep in mind. So again, it's in front of this front bar. The, the cord is always over the top, behind the back brace, and in front of the back bar, making sure not to twist or overlap your cords. When you're gonna grab your next chain stitch loop, you're always gonna be overlapping the previous two cords. And that is it, it doesn't get much easier really. It's a little confusing to describe it, but once you start going, you're just gonna keep on going. So, um, I have another video that I'll be posting on how to put together the chair seat and the back part, along with a cool batter. Alright, thanks guys!